Wow, they've graded this too. Which I'm surprised. Be interesting to see if the end of this keeps going to the old hang glider overlook or, or not. This is fun though. And a dead end, so knowing that. But it goes to like a high school hangout spot at night, camp spot. And so sometimes you'll have like SUVs depending when you come back at uh, various times. I've seen like a car coming the other way, hitting those water bars, and it was just like, man, that car was gonna be beat to hell. But typical high schoolers, you know, they don't, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> it wasn't a newer car, but it was like a big, like, oh, I'm trying to think. Come on, I know the model, I can picture it. I think it was a Chevy. Got one of those big ones, like from the 90s or late 90s, you know, the rounded bodywork and they went, did everything kind of rounded. I want to say Taurus, but it wasn't a Ford Taurus. It was the big, like, La Sabra, something like that. La la la. So, yeah, anyways, it was coming the other way and they were hitting these water bars and, man, that thing was just bouncing everywhere. I mean, they were going pretty quick. I mean, like, it wasn't like they were just kind of, like, going over the, they were, like, coming back out, like, at a pretty good pace for a car on this road. I don't know how far they got in because the one steep hill was always tore up. 4K cameras, kind of neat and all, but I think we, we don't really need them, you know, at this point. Bigger files to store, need more processing power to render, edit, um, and longer upload because they're bigger files. And, you know, you really don't get the benefits on a computer monitor. You, you just get, like, uh, you need a 4K TV. So you need a 4K TV. And a 4K TV, you know, I got one. But how many, I don't do any internet surfing on it. <laughs> like, that's not why I have a 65-inch 4K TV. Um, it's not why we spent as much as a motorcycle on a TV just wanted a big theater TV. I know, could have got a projector. <sighs> could have, maybe should have, but didn't. Uh, maybe I'm old fashioned that way. I do kind of like, I just hate that the projector bulbs, although they last a long time, honestly, they uh, they cost so much. Like for a bulb, I'm like, oh my God, two, 300 bucks for a bulb. Are, are you like shitting me? So. Yeah, you know, that's kind of why I don't have a, didn't get a projector. But, on the flip side, they are nice. <laughs> you know, we could have done like 110 inch. But, whatever. So, most people don't have 4K TV, so thus, the action cameras really don't provide people benefit. There's no reason to watch it on the computer. Actually, 1080 by 60 frames a second is good enough. 1080 by 120 frames a second would be fine, even if they bumped that up to 240 frames a second. I don't know, maybe the new GoPros do go that high in 1080. I don't know. But, you know, then you could really catch some slow motion stuff for uh, riding. But going above 1080 is not really needed. It's more bragging rights than anything. I got videos in 4K. It doesn't matter because I'm watching it on a normal monitor that's only, <laughs> that, what is my monitor? I think my monitor is 27 inch. I know some people have the huge, ridiculous 50 inch big TVs for their monitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't have desk space for that and I'm okay with normal and I don't play, I play a few games, nothing worthwhile buying a big monitor. I do, I do plan of, this has been in the works for a long time, but I do plan to put like a 50, maybe probably even now a 65 inch, because the prices are so down, on a wall next to my desk and computer area, just because I have a nice wall there that it would look perfect on. And if I ever change things around and got like a little sofa, it could be like my, 
my little man cave, or it could be like my daughter had friends over and they just wanted to watch TV, <laughs> and I wanted to be on the theater TV, or my wife didn't want them upstairs, you know, cooking or whatever. They could just lock themselves in there and watch some TV or play some games, have the computer right there, you know. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Even if I had an unlimited amount of money, it'd still take me a while, because things, some things in my life just are not a priority. I got a lot of stuff laid out for what I want to do around the house, but it's just not really, to me, a priority. <laughs> it's like, that would be nice, but I don't want to spend the money on that, you know? <laughs> like, it's not that big of a deal. Eventually. I'm still young, so... I look at the toys that other riders have and stuff, but then I look at their age, and they're usually a lot older than me, you know, they're like in their upper 50s, mid 50s, or even higher, like 60s, I'm like, well, yeah, they're like so much older, they've accumulated a lot more stuff, if back when they were 40, they probably didn't have as much, as many toys either, so it's just one of those things, just kind of naturally accumulate stuff. That was weird, I saw a hiker. You never see hikers. Anyways, that's the party spot. It's just a boulder, big boulder field. They have like a big bonfire in the middle of some of those boulders. It's kind of neat. It reminds me of high school, because in Austria we had a uh, party spot in the, in the Vienna woods, the Wienerwald. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was called the quarry, because it used to be a Roman quarry, I guess, was the always the story. <laughs> Whether it was or not, I don't know. But that's what it was always said. So there is a hiking trail that comes that way. I've seen tire tracks go down. I've gone down it a little bit, but I've never continued. I'm always by myself and uh, or <laughs> on this big bike, and I'm not going to hit it. <laughs> But if you continue on, you get to the old hang, gli hang glider um, launch, uh, launch area. And, I, and I've pointed this out a few times, but this trail gets a little gnarly. So you might want to be experienced. Most likely don't want to bring your big bike. Oh, somebody moved the trees. Jeeps try coming back here. Saw one kid that was stuck. And then uh, FLB Club and I got held on as we were leaving, but he didn't need help. He was like, oh my, my buddy went to get somebody that we know with a big rig that can get me out in a chainsaw. <laughs> Woohoo. Yeah, this used to be the bad hill, but it's not really that. It used to be a lot more torn up. It's kind of. It washed shallower. This used to be my like test area as far as for me, because as I was getting better, I'd come back here and I'd be able to get, you know, further in. This cut through has been here for a long time now. <laughs> One day it just showed up. Okay, this used to be the like, oh, I think I'll turn around. Wow, oh, that looks pretty gnarly. <laughs> looks like people have been cutting down there. I bet they have. Because that wasn't like that before opening. Oh, I'll go down this. this is, <laughs> yeah, this is a lot more filled in than it used to be. Trails are always changing. Let's see where that pops out at. If it really goes in, probably cuts off this corner. It just didn't look like a natural op opening. Maybe cuts to this corner. Let's see. 
No? Maybe it didn't. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just an opening. I see there, there is one that goes on that side of the trees. It used to just be this. Oh, and this is where the car was stuck against that tree. So they didn't cut the tree out, but. And this has been like this forever. Now, like five years that go around. Could my Jeep do that? Probably, I think it could. I don't know. I just wouldn't want to get stuck back here. And I don't really do the four, four by four thing, so I don't know anyone to come with. Because I can go a lot further and faster go through harder stuff on this and not worry about it. So, okay, right here. Let's see if I can, I'll have to go down a little. If the road continues, which we will. And I pointed this out before. Right there, guys. See the dock? See out there? Awesome views. Fancy homes. Yeah, so you would run and hang glide right off of that. It's pretty cool. And the Air Force Academy is still further down. But yeah, they used to come back here and do that. Cool stuff, huh? Right, and it's kind of funny. Somebody built, like, a dock so they could run off. Which just even is more so cool. <laughs> and it's hard enough to get... I, I'm sure this was not always swashed out, so it probably wasn't as hard to get back. So th this part gets a little on the... <laughs> Woohoo! It's really steep. <laughs> Hard to tell on camera, I know. I'm kind of skirting on the bank. I'll dip down. Now it's not bad. Just didn't know what to expect. Uh, had some logs in there. So it gets, it gets narrow, then you come around, you have to go up this rough hill, which I used to think was the roughest thing since sliced bread. Well, sliced bread's not rough, so. <laughs> the roughest thing since, like, before man has started shaving. But there's always been these campfire rings up here. Which seems like a nice area. And there's a bunch of them. And then the, the road trail just ends right here at this nice turnaround. And you can pull up right here. And you can see Monument, Colorado. Pretty cool, huh? Guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.